these are all the books i want to read before the end of the year hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is november 16 when i'm recording this and i decided to choose my priority tbr the books i want and need to read before the end of the year i want to start off with the books that i'm currently reading i'm currently reading addicted for now the third book in the addicted series i'm on page 175 on chapter 21 so far i am loving this book i can't wait to read the rest of the series I'm at that part when I'm a bit frustrated with a character, but I still love them. They're like those type of characters where you feel so attached to them. Like they feel like real people, so that's why you feel all the emotions towards them. So yeah, I'm really excited to continue this series. I'm probably gonna finish it by tomorrow because I'm gonna binge this. That is my plan for today. And I'm also reading from my Kindle the new Lauren Asher book, Love Redesigned. I'm currently on 48% so almost halfway through this is my first lauren asher book i haven't read anything by her before this one and i love her writing it feels like really similar to elsie silver's writing the author from the chess Spring series which i love that series you already know that and this book is basically about childhood rivals their mothers are best friends since forever and they've always had this rivalry of who is better than the other and they're always fighting they're always bickering they're always bantering i'm not that attached yet to any of the characters like i like them but i'm not like oh my god i'm obsessed so i'm just gonna keep reading this is a very long romance it's like 500 pages or something she is a like interiors designer or something like that she also has like her tv show and she just got out of an engagement and he he's a billionaire so this is my first billionaire romance so i'm also sensing that this is a second chance romance because something happened between them they were not a couple but something happened between them that they ended up like the little bit of hope there was got destroyed by something so we're gonna go following how they're gonna become lovers at some point and they're also in a project together working for something so i'm really enjoying this one next another book that i want to read from my kindle is hopeless that is the fifth and final book of the chestnut spring series i am super excited to read both stories i have seen mixed reviews i've seen people that is giving it four stars 4.5 stars five stars and are in love with the story but i've seen a lot of two star reviews ratings and i don't know i'm still gonna read it because i'm intrigued of his story i know that it is a fake engagement romance and i want to learn more about him because in the previous books you just get glimpses of glimpses of him and you don't know much about him and in between the books like he changes at the beginning he was really funny and really upbeat and really like joking and a lot and then something happened to him and he's more quieter he's not that much in the other books so i really want to read his story his side i haven't seen anything about the female main character so i want to know what her personality is why they're fake gonna be fake engaging so i'm really excited to read his story i haven't picked it up because as soon as i saw the first bad reviews i was like no i don't want to win the series for me or at least it was not like a very bad review it was like this was not the ending to the series that they were expecting so i'm still gonna read it i'm probably gonna like it i love lt silver's writing i love all of her characters so i'm really excited that is gonna be read before the end of the year i'm 100 percent sure so that another book i want to read before the end of 2023 Okay, so last month I read the second book to the Caribou series, Legendary. Before I finished the book, I ran to my bookstore and bought the third book, which is Finale, the third and final book in the Caribou series. And I'm reading it this month actually because I talked with a bookstagram friend and we want to buddy read the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. So I need to get through this because she's waiting for me to read this so we can start our buddy read. So. So this is gonna be actually my next read. I need to read this because I hate to make people wait for me. So yeah, this is gonna be my next read and I'm so excited to finish the series. I gave the first two books 4.25 stars, I think. I really enjoyed the second one. It was amazing. I love how Stephanie Garber writes. I love how she creates this magical world and I can't wait to know how this ends because the second book, those last pages were crazy. I loved it. Super excited. You've probably read the 
series because a lot of people have read this so yeah this is gonna be my next read actually that being said of course after finishing finale i'm gonna jump into the once upon a broken heart trilogy i had only the two first books i need to buy a curse for true love so yeah i'm reading this series i've been seeing so many amazing reviews i haven't seen a single negative review a single negative thing literally everyone is raving about these books everyone is giving them six stars everyone is telling me that that is their favorite series i have seen so much love for a series than for this one so i'm really hyped up and a lot of people that i follow and trust their opinions are obsessed so i know i'm gonna be obsessed and i'm gonna barely read this so i'm more excited about that and probably i'm gonna read them after finale so i don't know if i should vlog it probably yes so yeah these are other the other three books that i'm gonna read before the year ends then after that, I have this book, Stacey Hates, the second book in the Magnolia Park series. I am gonna read this because I read Magnolia Parks a couple of months ago and I never picked this one up. I actually bought this in September and this is literally my motivation to start, like to pick up this series again. I read Magnolia Parks. I gave Magnolia Parks five stars, so I have no idea why I haven't picked this one up. I actually started it in Kindle Limited because the first two books are kindle limited and i read like two chapters but but i wasn't in the mood to keep reading so i bought the book like the physical copy because i know that if i see it in my bookshelf i'm gonna be more motivated to pick it up and read it so yeah i'm so excited because i've seen so many amazing things about the whole series and i already read the first book and i loved it so it makes no sense that i haven't continued it. i'm gonna read this before the year ends if you follow this video, you're gonna know that a lot of the books are part of series. Mostly all of the books are me continuing the series or me finishing the series or me starting a series. I'm a series girly. So another book that I wanna read before the year ends is Caught Up by Liz Tomford. That is the third book in the Windy Air series. The book where he smiled high, the right move, and now caught up. I liked the first one, but not that much. I gave it like 3.5 stars, but it was really like a three because I didn't hate it, but I was not obsessed. Like the second book, The Right Move, where I literally binged that book. I read that book in, in a vlog, so you can check that out. But I binged that book. I love that book. I am obsessed. I want to reread that book. So I have such high hopes for Cut Up. Cut Up is a baseball romance. I've never read a baseball romance, so I'm here for it. And it's a single dad. I'm gonna leave it there. If you give me a single dad romance, I'm gonna eat it up. With a sport romance, I'm gonna eat it up. So I'm really excited to read that. I've seen amazing reviews as well. I saw a friend from Bookstagram that she said that she liked it more than the right move, so... I am mega excited to read Cut Up by Liz Tomford and I'm gonna read it before the year ends. Another series that I wanna read, I don't have it complete, but it is the Throne of Glass series. I actually, I haven't started it because I wanna start with Assassin's Blade and I live in Puerto Rico and in Puerto Rico, um, we don't have a lot of bookstores and the bookstores that we do have, they don't sell a lot of popular books and they do have the Assassin's Blade, but in Spanish. And I personally don't like to read Spanish because it is translated, so it doesn't make any sense. Like, the translations are so not bad, but not I can't read in Spanish. That's why I have to order it online or wait until they maybe ordered it because they literally have like 15 copies, but in Spanish. And I want to start with Assassin's Blade. I've asked so many girls that I know that read the Throne of Glass series and they tell me to start with Assassin's Blade and and I want to start with Assassin's Blade. So these two actually, I rifted them in a thrift store here in Puerto Rico. I was shocked when I saw this. They are loved. They have more. I don't know how to say that in English. I obviously had to buy them. So yeah, I really want to start the Throne of Glass series. But first I have to find the Assassin's Blade. So I'm really excited, but that is so so long that I don't have a lot of confidence that I'm gonna be able to read that before the end of the year but I'm gonna try I'm just gonna try and we'll see I'll let you guys know if I get my hands on the Throne of Glass series 
Another fantasy that I want to read is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. It is on Kindle Unlimited and I already downloaded it and I read for like 30 something pages but I was in a plane so once the plane landed I stopped reading the book I never picked it up and I said to myself I'm gonna read that book I'm gonna read that book I'm gonna read that book but never like I kept like seeing more books so I was like yeah I'll get to it later and started reading other books so I never read it but I don't understand a lot of what it is about I just know that her brother goes to war and she's like a writer for like a newspaper and she has like a rival there that like they give the projects to one or the other and there's something about a magical typewriter and I don't understand much but I like to go with my books blind so I'm not gonna search what it is exactly this book about but I'm gonna read that mark my words Another book that I want to read before the end of the year is Happy Place by Emily Henry. If you see here, I have her other books and I haven't read any of them. So I'm gonna read Happy Place because I just want to know what this book is about because I've seen great things about it. I know it's a second chance romance and it's about also a group of friends and I just want to know why people love it so much and I love the cover. So this is gonna be read before the end of the year. And this is actually the only standalone book from my list of books that I wanna read before the year ends. This is literally the only standalone. The rest is from series, are from series. So yeah, the next book that I wanna read is from another series. I'm gonna read this and I think I'm not gonna read The Brothers Hawthorne because I've seen first it's really long. And second, everybody is saying that that book is unnecessary, that nothing happens in that book, that they don't even know why she wrote it because nothing happens. They didn't like it. They felt that it was really unnecessary. So I really like the Inheritance Game series, but I feel that with this one, I can finish the series. It obviously depends on how it finishes because if something happens that I need to read the other book to know what happened, I have to read it. But for now, if this book ends like good in a point where I don't need to know any Anything else I'm finishing the series in this book I gave the first two books four stars I really enjoy them but I can't lie to you and say that they're my favorite books I like them but not five star read for me however i really recommend this book to everyone because they're like a page turners so you're, you're gonna binge this book so you're gonna be up like you need to know what's happening it's really fast space it's really interesting and entertaining so i'm gonna read the final gambit before the year ends i think i'm gonna include these three books in a vlog where i read a series i'm the middle of well i'm gonna make it part two and i think that these three books are going to be in that vlog so expect that from me and the final book I plan to read before the year ends is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. That book has been blowing up recently and I've seen amazing things. That is a fantasy romance. I think it's enemies to lovers and everyone is raving about that book, giving it five stars. I actually follow the author before she published the book. She was literally still writing the book when I started following her and I was like really proud of her. People have been loving it so much. That I need to read that book. I have, I ordered it. It has to arrive here. Books take like a week or more to arrive here. So when I have that book, I'm literally dropping everything I'm doing and reading that book because I have such high hopes for that book. I'm really excited to read that book. So I'll let you guys know when I do. And yeah, those are all the books that I plan to read during the remaining part of 2023, which is like a month and two weeks. How the book? Like, how the fuck? I took a gap year because I was, I finished my bachelor's and I was like, I need a break from school. I need a break from just studying, just going to class, and I need time to relax, time to travel. I didn't travel as much as I, w I wish I did, but I did travel, so I wanted time to just be at home, reading my books, and I had the best time. But tell me why. This was the fastest year of my entire life. I feel like I finished school yesterday, and it already is going to be a year. Anyway, 
enough about that i don't even know why i ramble about that but yeah thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for everything i hope you enjoyed today's video give it a like if you liked it um comment any book you recommend me to read before the end of the year comment if you've read any of these books comment whatever you want to comment i'm really happy every time i get a comment and yeah thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't i am so grateful for every single one of you and i'll see you in the next video